If you are born with or have a rare condition or disease, the underlying cause might be genetic. Knowing the cause may be important for you and your family members. Imagine our genetic makeup as a personal cookbook. While genetics is a deeply intricate topic, think of each of us having our own unique apple pie recipe as an analogy to help clarify. If you or a family member has a distinctive twist to this recipe, representing a unique genetic trait, it could be linked to your genetic code. Understanding this twist becomes essential if it's a shared recipe within your family. Our genetic recipes are stored in chapters called chromosomes, similar to sections in our cookbook. Each person has 23 pairs of these chapters. Half come from our mother's cookbook and half from our father's. In 22 pairs of chromosomes, also called autosomes, the chromosomes from our mother and our father contain the same recipe. But in the 23rd pair of chromosomes, the recipe are different if you were a boy or man and identical if you were a girl or woman. Just as a cookbook has specific instructions, our chromosomes have DNA detailing each recipe. A gene is like an individual recipe within a chapter. So, in summary, we can think of chromosomes in our body as different chapters in a cookbook. The genes are the specific recipes within the cookbook. These genes play a pivotal role in determining how we look and function. But how do our bodies interpret these recipes? DNA provides the exact instructions for crafting proteins in our body, similar to ingredients and steps in our apple pie recipe. Various combinations of ingredients result in different pies, just as proteins, combined differently, influence our appearance and perform diverse functions in our body. Imagine changing a traditional apple pie recipe. It might then taste of cherries. Similarly, tweaks in one or more genes can change how our body's proteins are formed, influencing our appearance or function. So in summary, the genes provide the instructions for functioning and appearance of our body. Each of us receives one copy of a recipe from both our parents, blending their unique ingredients. Sometimes, a recipe might have an unexpected twist or a variant ingredient. As pies can be baked in numerous ways, genetic conditions can be inherited differently. It can generally be categorized into three main types. Dominant inheritance, recessive inheritance, and X-linked inheritance. Each type has its own characteristics and rules for inheritance. Let's start with dominant inheritance. Imagine that making a baby is similar to baking a pie and a distinct taste is the same as your own genetic treat in the real world. Think of autosomal dominant inheritance as a dominant ingredient in the pie. If you inherit this specific ingredient from just one parent, it will significantly influence the pie's flavor. Each time this pie is baked, there's a 50% chance it'll have this distinct taste. Another method to inherit is autosomal recessive inheritance. Autosomal recessive inheritance works like baking a cake with a special flavor. In this type of inheritance, you need two recipes called genes, one from your mother and one from your father. If you get a modified version of that recipe from both parents, you will have the condition. If you get only one of the modified recipes from one of your parents, you won't have the condition. However, you can pass the modified recipe on to your children. We call this being a healthy carrier of the condition. If you get the correct recipe from both parents, you will have a normal apple pie. In this case, you won't be a carrier and won't have the condition. 
X-linked inheritance. X-linked inheritance happens when one of the recipes for the apple pie is in the X section of a cookbook. Men have one X section from their mother and one Y section from their father, while women have two X sections, one from each parent. If a mother has a modified version of that recipe on one of her X sections, each child has a 50% chance of getting that modified recipe or being a carrier. If the daughter gets the X section with the modified recipe from her mother, she usually does not have symptoms of the condition. This is because she has the correct recipe on the X section from her father. If a son gets the X section with the modified recipe from his mother, he will get the condition. That is because he only has one X section from his mother and the Y section from his father that lacks X bound recipe. If the father has the modified recipe on the X section, then all of his daughters will inherit it and become carriers of the condition. But none of his sons will get it as they get the Y section from their father. If the son or daughter do not receive any modified recipe from the X section from either of their parents, they won't have the condition. Occasionally, a unique flavor appears spontaneously in our pie not inherited from our parents' recipes. It's as if a surprise ingredient magically appeared during baking. So to summarize the differing forms of inheritance. Indominant inheritance. Just one twist from one of our parents is needed to get a different taste, or in other words, inherit a condition. In recessive inheritance, you need two unique ingredients from both of your parents in X-linked inheritance. All children will have a 50% chance of getting a condition if the mom carries the unique ingredient. But if the dad has this unique ingredient, every daughter will get the unique ingredient, whereas the sons will never get it. And occasionally, it's also possible to get a unique flavor that's not inherited from our parents. Within families, even when using the same apple pie recipe, there might be slight variations in flavor. The same recipe can express subtle differences, mirroring how genes can vary in their expression. Throughout this video, you've ventured into the world of genetic cookbooks, learning about chromosomes, DNA, and the various ways we inherit our unique recipes. Understanding your personal recipe and its roots is invaluable especially if your family shares a distinct pipe twist in their repertoire.